I'm Dan Ramey, Litter Media. On the road to downtown Columbus, to the Greater Columbus Convention Center in search of a notable character, one of the main attractions of the 2018 Ohio Educational Technology Convention. Oh, and I've spotted him, here he comes now, with his creator, Josh Montgomery, computer science professor at Southern State Community College in Hillsboro, and director of technology at Chillicothe City Schools. It's taken nearly two and a half years for Montgomery to build a replica of the 1970s New Hope version of Star Wars R2-D2. Montgomery talks about where this all began for him and the process of building R2. Pretty big fan. I, I think probably my fandom's grown over the years, which is kind of odd for most people, you know? So, um, always been a big fan. Obviously, it's gotten bigger and bigger with, you know, with projects like this. So I started the process about three years ago, about two and a half years ago. And I started with just the dome here. And the dome itself took about a year to build. And I, I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to go much further than the dome. Primarily because the body was first originally all wood and the legs were all wood. And I had lots of failure through the process. So it probably wasn't about a year in until I realized, Man, I think I can actually make this. This, this is gonna happen. So uh, at that point in time, I really didn't realize how popular this robot was to a lot of people. I wanted to do something in robotics and didn't really realize that that was going to be something compelling for a lot of other people too. I just wanted to see if I could do it. Yeah, so I went to a forum, astromech.net, it's a group of people trying to build these. A couple of the guys that make the actual R2-D2s for the films are a part of that group. And so you're able to get those 3D files and you find people that can cut pieces of aluminum or you build stuff yourself or I do my own welding for these feet that I built myself and, you know, it's, it just kept working at it, you know. Uh, it's just kind of like, uh, how do you eat an elephant? You know, you do it one bite at a time. And so it's just one bite at a time, one bite at a time, one bite at a time. So um, I can tell you my wife is beyond tired hearing about it, you know, so she, uh, she's, she's watched the whole process go through for, you know, two and a half, three years. So, so there's, um, I would say, in any state between two to five R2s, it's different variations, different forms, may not look like this, but full size in one way, shape, or form. So there's, there's a few people around that have a, a few of these, and so, uh, they have conventions every once in a while where a group of us nerds get together and like occupy a, a room. It isn't very big, there's not a lot of us, right? And we talk about ways you could do this and what worked well, what, what failed for you, what, what worked well for you, that kind of thing, and you try to collaborate. Man hours. I have no idea uh, how long it took me to build him. Um, it, it depends, you know, there's certain times I, I spent a lot of time, like weekends, like constant weekends working on them. Uh, and there's other times where I was frustrated and I just did some things in the morning and do some things in the afternoon or I was waiting for a machine shop to cut a piece or whatever the case may be. So uh, I have no idea. Uh, same with money. I have no idea. <laughs> my, my wife would like to write it off as a tax thing if possible. She's been looking into that. I don't think it's possible. The first thing they always ask is, can you project Princess Leia? I actually want to be a hollow projector. We don't currently have hollow projector technology, do we? So uh, the answer I could say now is yes. We absolutely can. My latest features of R2-D2 is he now has a projector in the actual robot. Other than that, they, they want to know if, if uh, there's a midget inside of him, and there's not. So they want to know if it can go to two legs. It does not. Um, and so everybody's always looking, does that open? Does that open? Does that open? That kind of stuff. And this here actually does open. These here actually hinge and open as well, those kind of things, so. I want to be able to pull a lightsaber out the very top of it. I think that'd be a lot of fun for people to see. Uh, I'd like to be able to have these hinged and move off a couple servo motors. And I'd like to something to pop out of this panel right here that I've just basically hinged right now. Um, and that's probably about it. That'll, that'll probably take me till uh, 2019 to do that. And I've got a couple other really cool robotic kind of projects that I'm working on the side that I'm still in alpha development on that have nothing to do with Star Wars, but are, I'm pretty excited about them. So, oh man, um, number one is, is confidence. Like I feel like I could build anything, you know what I mean? So you build something that's an actual replica of something like this, and then you feel like there's no project you can't handle, you know what I mean? So I did this with a lot of failing failed a lot throughout the entire process and through that process I learned that I could do anything and so um, some of the new projects that I'm working on are literally things that are really far out there but I feel like I could really reach them and be able to do some of those really um, powering things and so what I want to do is be able to talk to kids groups of students about how you can do that through large projects so anything's possible getting him out of your home yeah, it, it took us hours. Yeah, yeah. So like Miss Putnam met me at my house at 7:30. 
Um, Where's Johnny at? Johnny was here a little bit ago. Anyways, I've uh, Johnny's behind you. Uh, he, he helped me carrying him. I can't lift him by myself. He, literally, he's about 175 pounds. So it broke down to two pieces. <laughs> R2, just got his own R2 got his own badge now. So we have, he's, he's now officially an exhibitor for the session, which is, is pretty hilarious. I'll put that on him in a second. The robot has uh, around six computers now in him. I always like to joke if I was a better programmer, I could probably do it in two, but no, I use six uh, to make everything happen inside of him. And uh, moving him is an, an unbelievable chore. Uh, it took three of us this morning, and um, it takes quite a bit of time to get him in places. So he doesn't—he literally doesn't fit in my basement doors, which is something you think you'd try it out in three years. Nope, I didn't. I, I, like, it just occurred to me one day to actually try to see if his feet would measure through, and it just doesn't. Beyond that, he's so heavy, you just can't lift him. There's no real good place to lift him. So I have to disassemble him to move him, but it's not a big deal. PC or Mac? Linux. Oh, Linux. Linux, yeah. Okay. Some Linux OS in him. Yeah, no PC or no Mac. I am looking at possibly putting a PC in to do some like streaming options because he has a projector in him now, but I don't know. We'll see. I got some other things I want to do first. So as you can see, it was a pretty successful trip to Columbus in front of all the educators to see Josh Montgomery put on his presentation. Thanks for watching Litter Media. I'm supposed to say right now, Mr. Queen looks very menacing. He's, 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 just, he's just like keeping people away kind of thing.